three ways to remove the background of an image for use in PowerPoint. So firstly, you can do it in PowerPoint. So here's my image. I click on the image and the picture format tab opens. Click on the picture format tab and over to the far left, we have remove background. We click on that and PowerPoint automatically tries to decide what it is we want to remove. We have these little buttons here, mark areas to keep and mark areas to remove. And we use these to define which parts we want to keep and remove. So let me show you. As you can probably see, when I'm marking some areas to keep, some areas to remove keep popping up. So you have to keep doing this several times to get it to work for you. So now I've got what I need to, oh, it's taken off my top there and there's a bit of my jacket missing. So now I need to remove these little bits. So if I click mark areas to remove, I can go and remove these bits of the text there as well. Now that's probably, Oh, I've got a bit of the jacket to do now. And that's probably a bit, oh, some of my hair now needs to be done. Okay, that's probably about as good as I'm going to get it. So click Keep Changes and it'll show you. If you need to do it again, we can click Remove and we can keep on working on that to get it a little bit better. Try and get those extra bits of hair in there. And there's a few bits around my face there too. There we go. So that's the first one. Not ideal. Secondly, we can do it in Windows 11. Here's my picture opened up. And if I go to the edit image icon, click on that. Here are the changes that I can make. And over to the right, we've got background. If I click on background, there's a couple of options. Try out different backgrounds. I've got blur, I've got remove or replace. I'm going to click remove. And that's the image. Now the background has been removed. We've got save options. It's got save a copy, save and copy to clipboard. Whenever I copy it to clipboard, it comes out with a white background. So instead, I'm going to save a copy with that background. And here's the image, which is looking quite good. So if we go to photoroom.com and if we go to free tools, we have remove background. And now I can upload my photograph. When you have the checkered background, that means you're going to have a PNG background, which is transparent. I can choose a different color here. I can choose to have a solid color fill if I want to. So now I choose download. Standard resolution is free. My image has been downloaded. I can then save it. And now I have my three different versions created in the three different ways. So let's have a look at how they compare. So first of all, the PowerPoint one, not great doesn't pick up my hair very well. I probably could get it better, but it would take me quite a bit of time. Secondly, we've got the Windows 11 version, which is not bad. It looks pretty good to me. And thirdly, we've got the photo room version, which personally I think is the best, but you've got options. If your organization doesn't allow you to maybe go to photo room, you can quite easily do it in Windows 11. Thank you very much. Bye.